Hello my friends, today we're going to be taking a look at a whole bunch of Pinterest inspired upcycles, DIYs, thrift flips, and scrap busting projects. While I love making things from scratch, I think it's really fun to play within our limitations and use things that we already have to make something new and fresh, or to mend our clothes, to upcycle our clothes, to try and make them into things that we would actually wear and to give them a whole new life. First, we're gonna start with scrap busting projects. We have this dress from Thread and Sprout, but she uses fabric scraps in really interesting ways. And I think that it's a really cool way to get creative, get crafty, and use a whole bunch of your fabric scraps in one project. Another fun way I love playing with fabric scraps is by adding pockets or adding little bits and pieces to clothes that already exist. So you can take a thrifted jacket or take a thrifted shirt or take something that you already own that maybe needs a little bit of love or that you're not wearing and you wanna spruce up. I really like this bag as well. I think it is a really cool and fun way to play with the fabric scraps. I love how you can add like a pocket for sunglasses. You could also do this on an old tote or you can use old fabric and sew up a tote and then you can add these onto it. This little jacket or shirt is another personal favorite of mine. I think this is a really beautiful way to play with fabric scraps and it is really interesting because you can take those tiny off cuts, those tiny, tiny pieces that you maybe saved that you don't know what to do with and you can make them into something really beautiful by hand stitching them onto a shirt, onto a jacket and it's also something that you could do on the couch that you could do just like watching a movie or watching YouTube that sort of like lovely, fun, meditative practice. Another one for fabric scraps is this really cool denim mini dress. Maybe a bit more spring oriented, but I think it could work for the fall, especially if you add some layers. I have so much denim for some reason or other. And I think that this would be a great way to play with different shades of denim and make a really cool and impactful piece. I also love the idea of using fabric scraps to alter clothing and like alter the shape of clothing. So for example, I love how with this jacket, you could just add this triangular panel and it adds such a fun visual interest to it but at the same time it's creating a little bit of width through the hips so if something doesn't fit you well you can add that in and it'll then fit you I think it's a really cool way to add ease I also think you could do this at the bottom of jeans you can take a pair of jeans and you could do some like fun patchwork or do a little like quilted bottom there's so many fun ways to use fabric scraps to make your clothing fit you better in a way that looks intentional and cool and not just like oh she just added fabric here. Okay, I absolutely love this sweatshirt. I think it's so cool. I love what this artist has done. It's essentially a sweatshirt and it has a bunch of different panels that have been dyed from different plant dyes and then pieced together as a little quilted patch on the front of the sweatshirt. I believe they used all knitted fabrics, but I can't tell exactly from just looking at it. I think it would be really fun to play with because I always end up with just random little tiny scraps of knit fabrics and I never know what to do with them. So this would be a cool way to use those and I also always end up with like big stains on my sweatshirts so I can play around with those fabric scraps to create a big patch that then covers the stains and looks awesome at the same time so it's kind of like a win-win situation okay next up is embroidery I love the idea of using embroidery to mend garments I also really like the idea of just embroidering on a garment to give it a new life to cover up stains to cover up holes as I said or just draw on it to use embroidery as a drawing medium. I've also seen a bunch of these on Pinterest where people have played around with the buttonholes. So they've made the buttonholes into like eyes or they've made them into little ice cream cones or they've made them into flowers. I think that's really cool and really playful as well. I also really love this sweater and I like the idea of using like tic-tac-toe or this sort of embroidery to cover holes. I'm not saying that this is covering holes or that you could even cover holes with this sort of embroidery. But I think this sort of like playfulness on a sweater is really fun. The next one is a really simple one and it's using rickrack, which is a form of sewing notion that you can get at any fabric store really. And it's really fun to play with and add onto garments. So I really like the idea of adding them onto sleeves. I think that's really cool. I think it could be a really fun way to again, make something feel a little bit more playful, make something feel a little bit more young and, and fresh and colorful. I really like the idea of adding it onto a collar and then adding it onto the cuffs and on the bottom. I think it could also be a way to cover up stains if you have stains on a garment, usually on the sleeves or sometimes on the collar, you can get stains. On a similar vein, uh, this is not rickrack, but it's bias tape and I love this one so much where you add the bias tape along the collar and you add it along the front button placket and then you play with the shape, even you can cut into the shirt and give it a really fun silhouette and use the 
bias tape around it. That is so neat. I think that's a really fun idea for a DIY. Imagine even like changing out the, the buttons to give it like the different colors. That would be really cute. Okay, next up is quilting and it kind of goes into what we were talking about with the other scrap busting with, you know, playing around with patches and all of that stuff. But I say quilting because, okay, a lot of people are upcycling quilts, but I also think that we can play around with making little quilt squares ourselves and then adding those as appliques or adding them onto garments or even just using the method of quilting to make something really cool and fun and textural. So I'm going to show a few ideas here. For one, I absolutely love all the denim that has like little quilted squares on it. I love the back pockets that are quilted or I really like when you have them up the front. I think that's a really cool way to cover up any holes as well or any distressing that you don't like, any stains. Those are really interesting ways to add a little bit of like visual interest but also are practical because yeah they're covering up something that you don't want to show and you're upcycling it and making it new okay my absolute obsession from this is this little tiny quilted mini skirt this could be like an upcycle where you have maybe a damaged quilt at home that you want to upcycle and you make it into this or we could go the fabric scrap route and we can quilt something piece it together do the whole quilting add the batting and then make it this sweet little mini skirt regardless i think it is super cute i'm really really obsessed with it and i think it would be a really fun little make and it would be fun for fall because it would be warm and cozy next up is block printing and i really like the idea of upcycling a bunch of yardage you have at home maybe an old pillowcase maybe some old sheets or even block printing on a fabric that has stains that you want to cover up i played around with block printing recently and it was super fun i really loved creating my own print on the fabric but you could also come up with an overall motif that you you want to print once or create just like a solid image create one image and have that be the focal point or you could block print all over and use it as a way to spruce up an overall design on a shirt personally i love these little squiggles i think that would be really cute on fabric do like squiggles and dots you can also block print on scrap fabric that you have and make that into tea towels or napkins it could be a little set and then you give it away for christmas i think that is super cute i've always wanted to do that and i've seen a ton of really cute examples like these on Pinterest of these little like tea towel and like napkin sets. It's adorable. You can also print photographs on iron transfer paper and put those onto a jacket or onto a t-shirt. You can even put them onto jeans. I have these pants from Paloma Wool that I've always been really inspired by and they're basically called the friendship pant and they have all these different photographs all over them. I think it would be really cool to try and remake that with my own photos. I could pick the photos, print them on iron transfer paper, iron them onto my clothing. I think that would be really fun and also be almost like a little like scrapbook, a little like memory book, but on the garment, kind of like a little friendship pant of my own. So we're gonna leave it there for today, but if you like this sort of video, then you are definitely gonna wanna subscribe because next week I have a video coming out where I make several of these projects or I make several things inspired by these projects. So you're gonna wanna check it out. It's gonna be really great and I will see you then. Bye. Bye.